Yeah. Uh, I used to find the best one uh, to, to um, get them going was uh, Sid Cooper. Right. Now he would be like, uh, he would just be the, like to be two old boy, an old boy and an old girl sitting in the front row. Yeah. And he goes, I saw you going to that woman's house next door, <laughs> like an old boy of 80, like, ah, blah, blah. <laughs> and he would wind them up and all of a sudden he'd go and oh, oh, that the old girl, uh, I saw you talking to that man, <laughs> what are you going to his house for? And it, yeah. But it, it's brilliant at it, yeah. um, really brilliant, um, yeah. The, the downside to that though is I did see a, a recent, um, well, it was a couple of years ago actually, it was a programme called Beyond the Map. It was about WWF and right. you know, what, what happened behind the scenes. It was a lot to do with Bret Hart getting screwed by Vince McMahon. But in there they've got this wrestler and he's a giant guy, you know, he's obviously a hill, no one likes him. Mm -hmm. And he's playing along with the crowd and then all of a sudden a fella runs up to him and spits in his face. Now that, that's crossing... That's, that's, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And that's... I can remember uh, you saying that, I remember Jackie Pallo. Someone swore, I can't remember who it was now, swore or something at the punters in the, in, out in the ring, out yeah. outside the ring. And Jackie Pallet sacked him. Because we, there's no need for it. No. Um, I would honestly say Sid Cooper and these people, Alan Dennison, uh, and they never swore or anything. Yeah. It's a lot, it was a lot more respectful than those, I suppose, so, wasn't it? Well, I, mean, I think it's knowing, knowing your trade, if you like. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, you never swear, never swear at them. Worst thing you can do. Yeah. So, have you met guys that have been really good wrestlers, but when they turn to the pro scene, their acting skills or that they can't do, they can't turn the audience. Is that well? They can't. Problem? If if they're amateurs, yeah, uh, it's very hard. The same as amateur boxers. Yeah. They find it very hard to because it's a whole different bot. It's a different ball game. Yeah. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Like your um, your skills are different. You've got to come from someone. That would um, be wrestling amateur, where they're yeah. wrestling for pinfalls and points, yeah. to going on with someone where they're going to bend your arm up your back yeah. okay. and put a little bit of pain yeah. in you. Yeah. Um, and it's hard uh, for these some of these guys to do the change. Yeah, yeah. I've noticed a lot in wrestling. I mean, you get these big guys, oh, not necessarily big, all sorts of. They come to the WWE. They go through their the the college, I suppose. That's right. Yeah. Of wrestling, but they they still got to work because you can't really start uh, doing promos really unless there's people around. Because you could be great, couldn't you? In doing well, that's practice. right. You see, this is why, like, really, you should see like amateur wrestling. Yeah. To see what it's all about, yeah. and then you sort of understand why yeah. some of these guys cannot switch. Yeah. To the, see, like in amateur wrestling, you you never pick a guy up and slam him down. Right. Now you've got to train someone been doing amateur wrestling, say, uh, five or six years, to train him now to pick someone up. Yeah. Your whole your body stance would be different. Uh, where amateur wrestlers come in low. Yeah. Pro men are ups, upstanding because yeah. you don't want to be taken in a submission or yeah. something like that. Yeah. So do you think like when uh, Kurt Angle he won his Olympic gold medal oh, yeah. in 1996, won the gold. Uh, 1997 he was started in WWF what yeah. it was at the time. Yeah. Um, and him himself he admitted before he got into professional wrestling he thought it was just a couple of guys you know. Yeah. He said then he watched it went to do it and then he realised how great it was. Oh, it's an art. Yeah. Oh, there's, no, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. It's an art. As I say, I was watching a, a, a DVD earlier on today, this yeah. morning, and uh, and you see these guys, it's just an art. Yeah. It, it really, really is what they do. Because you've got, you've got to be a good actor as well, I suppose, haven't you? Too? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it's like, all right, if you take boxing, Eubanks, look at Eubanks. Yeah. Do you remember Eubanks Chris boxing? Eubank, yeah. Look at the showman he was. Yeah. Come in and they're all out on a motorbike. Yeah, you've got Cassius Clay. Yeah. Showman. Yeah. Uh, but that is what the promoter wants. Yeah. This is the thing that earns you money. Yeah. And this is what fills houses. We've got a similar guy at um, CSA, Dave, David Howell, do you know him? Uh, little Dave, I think he does some. He's probably done some wrestling with you. Probably. He's a similar. He's, you know, he does a great. You know, he can yeah. pull anyone out. And then when you meet him, he's a really nice guy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I can remember like being in the American like they're going, oh, I, I've got a bit upset. I've, like, I saw him on the TV, I'm going to pull your head off. I yeah. just, oh, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but as part of the, 
the camaraderie, as the build up to yep. get the to get the get you know, to so the people can get an interest in it. They yep. they do take an interest. Because I mean, before the days of TV, TV got into wrestling. You'd have to build up your name from how you acted. I mean, you're wrestling. Well, you see, you say that. See, before TV, uh, I say eighty percent or seventy percent of people didn't know it was going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's only modern, uh, the modern way of the world that realised that all these things go on. Yeah. Because of television, and films, and all that. But before, if you sort of can go back, I would say, um, like, you're right, you take the Titanic, yeah. they go, oh, it hit the iceberg. It wouldn't happen today. Well, of course it wouldn't happen today because they've got radar, sauna, yeah. <laughs> they've got yeah. satellites. Um, yeah. They knew it was, you know, they know what was going to go in front of them. Yeah. But in the early days, we didn't know. Right. Like, if you think the early days, the amateur mat, uh, and, and, and the pro ring, yeah. was just boards. And a canvas, yeah. and you used to get all mat burns and, yeah. and things like that. Honestly, and that's put your head across. Uh, but now they, they're nice, and the rings are a little bit they give now. The rings yeah. give, but before they were solid. So on that subject, John, um, obviously, at, um, when they were the WWE guys, they had quite a bit of time away, you know, working. Oh, but obviously, yeah. the conditions I should imagine are quite yeah, good. Yeah. A little bit different to when you was doing it. Not uh, how long was you sort of on tour for doing that? Oh, only a week at a time. Okay, so on. Yeah, because you'd have a week in the north, week in the, in the, in, in, up in Scotland, right. week in the Midlands, down sort of south. change about with different well, yeah. card, I suppose. Yeah, so you, say, like, say you was going south, you'd go like, how can I put it? Um, you go like Brighton, I'll just come off me here, Brighton, yeah. you go Bournemouth, then you go down to Plymouth, St Hostels, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you sort of end up sort of like St Hostels, and then you'd come home. Uh, others, the Northerners, would sort of always do like, like used to have uh, Croydon, uh, Catford, Walthamstow. Where else was that? That'd be like local village. Well, yeah, village so they're doing, yeah. yeah. Uh, Walthamstow, um, Beckenham Baths, and they end up in Maidstone on the Saturday night. Yeah. To cut, to, and they finish match that Saturday night and then go home. So, in answer to your question, John, it's not probably not a lot different. Now, because I mean, a lot of pro professional wrestlers now in America, I think a lot of their biggest beefs are they don't see their families. I mean, they're on tour every night. They paid a lot of money, but yeah, but they, yeah, but they they travel vast vast distances. Mm. Yeah. Um, like, all right, we would go like Birmingham. We go all the way right to Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, it's only two hundred miles, if you like. Yeah. But they would travel like five hundred. Yeah, they'll go like yeah. Australia one one day, then That's the next right, day they'll yeah. be in America yeah. for a press conference. That's a tough. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's, as I say, the visiting, you know, as I say, the times that they're away from home. Yeah. But there again, I suppose if England was as big as America, then it'd probably be the same here. Yeah, yeah. Do you, I mean, do you ever see like world of sport? Obviously, back in its day, mm -hmm. everybody used to watch it on a Saturday afternoon. Oh yeah, that's right. Do, yeah. Can you see anything like that becoming again in England, like with a wrestling show, or do you think? MMA well, it is could be if. Um, if the TV companies take yeah. the interest, that's the problem. Uh, yeah, the that's TV the problem. They, they've got to you know, have the, the public be You know, say yeah. that they want to watch it. Well, I mean, why is Sky going to invest on a terrestrial channel when they're paying the WWE and TNA as well? Well, well that's right. Now you've got to break that now. Yeah. You well. see, but what when the the TWA and all these people uh, they came into? I mean, so when you see the the, the Razzmatazz, yeah. So yeah. what an English show would give you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, people want to see the Razzmatazz.